streets, they call it murder. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mod Life. I'm JP. It's Clifford. Oh, Shit, I need to Hello, that's good. We'll cut that out. Breeze past that. Um, hello, folks. We're back with MR2, Trusty Steve. And today we're going to be fitting a Rev3 MR2 lip onto Cliff's Rev2 MR2. So, as you can see, jacked up. Supported on access down, so we're all nice and safe. And uh, I've just sent Cliff off over there to go and get the, the new lip. And we are going to embark on taking this lip on this in the light. So we've got a couple of bolts here. And um, we're probably going to have to take this mud guard off as well, I think. So the new one here is some sort of bolt in the middle here. Should be fairly straightforward, we shouldn't come into much trouble, so uh, yeah, we'll give you a shout in a second when the old looks off. So here we have Pugwash undoing all the bolts. He's already taken off the bolts that have the beyond the tray, which you could see is in two pieces. Um, he's having a bit of difficulty getting off the bolts that hold in the actual lip to the bumper. As you can see, there are uh, quite a few snap bolts or rounded off bolts, whatever you want to call them. We've had them all. Um, but yeah, he also managed to spray some of that bolt remover spray in his eye. Uh -huh. Always wear eye protection when you're working underneath the car. It's not just because we're getting this shit on your eye, but brush dirt. Otherwise, you wouldn't look. Okay, so, sit rep, it's all good. Um, as you can see, this side is free, this side is free. That one in the middle of the bolt is all rounded off. And we have the same thing on this side where two bolts here, which obviously go in, dun, dun, they are also rounded off. Um, so this is probably where we're gonna have to start getting creative and maybe a little strapping. So we finally managed to get it off. Um, you can see where the, these bolts were. They were just didn't want to come out. They were a bit too rusty. Um, but obviously the problem we've got, you see there, is the, the captive nut is part of that clip. So that sits over there, and then obviously the bolt comes through the top and into that hole. So yeah, we'll probably take a quick break, go and grab a pack of these so we can refit the new bumper or the new lip to the bumper. Um, We'll grab ourselves a few bolts and nuts and a couple of other little bits of bobs. And uh, we'll be back in uh, a little while. So here we got a Rev2 Mark II MR2 lip. As you can see, it's got fixing points on the top. Got fix it to the bumper. And it's got fixing points underneath. That I believe fix it to the under tray. Some of the bolt, some of the things are broken, so we're gonna have to just use two washers on each one to kind of make the seal. I'm not sure if the car has the original kind of lip holding bracket things on there. They usually get bent or very rusted, so two washers each side is probably gonna be the best thing. And I believe that. James has a trusty box of washers and bolts. Hi guys, so in actual fact we didn't really need to go anywhere because uh, I managed to find some bolts. As you can see here, with um, two of any captivated, well not captivated, including washer on the bottom of it, so it's flared up. The only problem with these is they're actually 13s. Oh, they're not given. And uh, as we know, 13 has no place on any Japanese vehicle ever. But, um, we got them, that's all we've got, so we're going to use them. So we've just replaced them with the holes, and they're a bit thicker as well, which is quite handy, because they then fill the holes and sort of negate the need for a washer. Uh, so now we're just going to line these back up, and see if we can pop them in. Let's 
Looking there. Is it? Look at Irie and her. Some of these holes don't actually line up. I'm just going to have to put some self tappers in just to secure a couple of them. Um, but for the most part, we're pretty much on. Ari, so we just basically got kicked out of the car park where we was uh, fitting the lip outside Cliff's house, isn't it? Uh, they politely asked us to, uh, to leave, so they've got some sort of event going on and they need the space. So we didn't want to take the piss, so. Um, we needed to come and get some screws after all. After all of that, I managed to find some for the size, but the centre bits, we need to come and get some self-tapping screws. So, uh, we here at, uh, you can see that, home base. Peace. And we're gonna go get some self-tappers, and then go find another car park to continue on our missions. This is Cliff testing out. Some sort of garden box here. We got what we need though. Yeah, people. No, I'm not looking for now. We've got what we have to fix out there. Yeah. Should we go in? No. So, as we can see, James is under the car. We're in a new location. Oh. Yeah, new car park this time. Hopefully, we won't get kicked out of this one. Here again, we have the species, Captain Pugwashicus, out of Bedfordia, and the United Kingdom Ramus, getting an under tray. So the MRC. We're not at under tray stage yet, I just wanted to see how I was going to get to it, because we still got a couple of screws left to ease in the some people would probably just say that the majority are really not good, but we like to sort of try and do things the best we can. That's what we're going to do. Screw it, it's from Captain Pugwashkas. strength of a polar bear, that's not true, but I can summon the strength of a polar bear, it, that, that is actually a fact. I'm sure people have seen it on the videos already, and if they haven't, they will at some point. Just subscribe. Unnatural strength for a human being to possess. There we have. It's a bit dirty, you'll have to excuse it, it's got greasy fingerprints on it. I'm just going to get that clean. And you can be able to see that we've got all your hardware in. Anyway. Oh, 
All right, guys, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I think we're going to call it a day here today. We've uh, obviously just finished up putting the lip on Clips MR2. So we've got some air in Sarah's tyres, but some air in the MR2. Uh, we're going to call it a day for now because, uh, yeah, it's getting late. We've got places to be, things to do. So, uh, I'm JP. Take care. That's Clifford. We'll see you soon. If you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. There's more videos to come. Peace.